Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of Frontline Friday. In just a moment, we're going to take you out to the West Coast, where Clint Engel is in Phoenix on his hot market retail tour. As you may remember, Clint was in Houston earlier this year. Uh, this week, he is in Phoenix looking at uh, several different retailers. We're going to take you out there so that you can share some of his interview with Jake Jabs at American Furniture Warehouse. Uh, for complete coverage of the tour, stay tuned to FurnitureToday.com. And uh, for a little bit extra coverage even beyond that, stay tuned to the pages of Furniture Today. Till next week, I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business. And now, take it away, Mr. Engel. Thank you, Bill. I'm on day three of our hot market retail tour in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And today I'm with, I've been with uh, Jake Jabs all day. Um, Jake, f f I wanted to start with, uh, you're from Englewood, Colorado. That's where American Furniture Warehouse got its start. But you've been in the Phoenix market now since 2013. Right. Tell me a little bit about your expansion into this market and how business has been since. Yeah, this is the hottest thing I've ever done. You know, many years, I've, in the 140 years I've been in business, <laughs> I'm just kidding you, <laughs> 43 years, but, uh, you know, I've had a lot of different stores, a lot of different businesses, but this Arizona thing is absolutely the best thing we've ever did. And I guess when you get older, you get smarter, too, I think part of it is. But uh, what we did, we examined the uh, uh, Arizona market about to get furniture stores. And I knew that from my factory. I was selling a lot of dealers here from my factory and I examined it, and they just needed a nice big furniture store like our Arizona and it's over the top these stores are doing over a hundred million dollars each store and just growing all the time so this is really the best thing I've ever did as far as business goes Wow! and you haven't uh, talked to some retailers seeing a little bit of a slowdown this year you're not seeing a slowdown in no, this market we're up we're up. And we're up in Colorado too I've been to some Colorado but Arizona is up more percentage wise than in, than our Colorado stores uh, when I came in, uh, you, uh, you were talking to the store manager a little bit about uh, some expansion in the home decor, home goods category, which we're standing in right now. Can you tell me about that and why you're doing it? Well, I, I think uh, home decor is going to be a, a growing part of the, of the business. Uh, I think uh, the women uh, aren't going to buy home decor on the Internet. I think a lot of retailers are looking at it. The fact that retailers that are doing well right now are the ones that appeal to the women. I'm talking about Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, you know, TJ Maxx, Marshall, and a lot of the stores that kind of cater to the to the women uh, uh, home decor and accessory market. And I think going forward that uh, the women are still going to buy, you know, uh, accessories is more personal. And they want it to be sure that matches their carpet or their other decor in their house. And that the woman, I know this from my wife, she loves shopping and she loves to shop decor. And I don't think that's going to go away. I think the women are going to be reluctant to buy accessory type items on the internet. Okay. And they, what about price? Well, the, the, of course, price, the thing, the, of course, the thing we do, we buy full containers, you know, uh, coming from Asia and uh, bring them to our store. So we really can sell them cheaper than Hobby Lobby or anybody else because we're buying full containers to our store, which I don't know of anybody else that really can do that but us. Give me an idea of a couple of different prices on your uh home decor items. Well, you know, those, we call them sticks, those sticks, those kind of bushy type things. Yeah, like things. those willow, yeah, uh, willow, the white type, willow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we sell them for $28 to $38. And the cheapest I found them anywhere is $89. And even, I think, Wayfair is $300 on them. So, anyway, we, we can just really sell a lot of that stuff cheaper because we can buy full containers and we ship them direct to this store here and we don't have any distribution. We can we, we handle our own distribution. I have our own fleet of trucks, my own semi. So we do, we don't uh, incur a lot of the costs that these other people do by having everything in-house. Okay.